Real-world mapping in 3ds Max is a technique for measuring textures using their real-life dimensions. Some textures, by their very nature, are good candidates for real-world mapping, while others are not. Typically, only textures that are easy to measure in real life make good textures for use in real-world scale. Architecture materials like brick and ceramic tiles make very good candidates. Not only can you measure them, but they typically come in standard dimensions that are universally recognized. Other textures like grass, sand, and dirt have dimensions that are more difficult to measure. Ironically, this makes them easier to use since a surface of gravel that is out of scale is not as noticeable as an oversized brick, for example. When you use 3ds Max design, the real-world mapping scale is turned on by default. In 3ds Max, real-world mapping is turned off by default. Either way, you can force real-world map scale on or off using the Use Real-World Texture Coordinates option in the Preferences dialog. You can also force real-world map scale on or off when you use the custom UI and default switcher. The map scheme supports traditional mapping, non-real-world, whereas the design viz schemes are set to use real-world mapping. In this scene showing a kitchen space, let's see how we can map the floor and part of the wall above the counter. Materials have been applied as placeholders. You want to use the same tile layout for both areas, but with different mapping values. For the floor, you want to use tiles that are 1 by 1 foot, 30 by 30 centimeters, and on the walls you want them 3 times smaller, 4 by 4 inches or 10 by 10 centimeters. On the floor material, replace the yellow color with a bitmap. In this case, you are using a 4 by 4 tile layout. After you enable Show Map in Viewport, notice what happens. The floor looks more like a carpet than a ceramic floor. The mapping is much too small. Notice in this case that real-world scale is enabled, but that the real-world dimensions are set to only 1 by 1 inch. If each tile is 1 by 1 foot, the total layout has a side dimension of 4 feet. By changing the width and height dimensions accordingly, the display in the viewport now appears far more realistic. For the wall strip, you want this texture to be three times smaller. Using a different material, load the same bitmap in the diffuse channel. Notice that even with show map in viewport active, you cannot see the bitmap on the object. This happens when the object has no mapping coordinates. Earlier, and because of the nature of the floor object, mapping coordinates in real-world scale mode were automatically generated. The wall strip is an editable poly that went through various modifications prior to its current shape and has no mapping coordinates. After you apply a UVW map modifier to the object and set it to box mode, notice how the real world map size option is enabled by default. This option should work in tandem with the use real world scale option in this signed material. After you change the real world size of the bitmap to 16 by 16 inches, 4 tiles of 4 by 4 inches, the ceramics on the wall appear as they should. You can also offset the placement of the tiles using real-world dimension to force a starting point. 